Hey Wednesday here, and welcome to Green Hell Overview. Another jungle simulator, huh? I kinda find it funny that so many people are saying that we don't have enough survival games on Quest. I already can count on my hand more than five, like, survival as a genre is a very broad term. If you really think about it, everything is a survival, because that's life. But to be fair, this one seems to be the most complex out of anything I've seen, so it's nice to have something not being copy-paste. So Green Hell is an adventure survival simulator game where you're thrown into the middle of the jungle without any equipment whatsoever with a goal to outlive anything that's gonna kill you. We've had a pretty similar release back in the day called Song in the Smoke. It was leaning in a more fantasy setting though Green Hell goes for more realistic and an actual immersion that you're out there trying to survive with whatever knowledge or resources you can master. I don't do very well in this genre as we all know. I think most of the time I just get lost forgetting the recipes or I'm confused where to go, what to do. I do hope however with this project everything to be kinda like streamlined, you know, if you pick up a stick and a stone, you combine it and you have an actual stick with a stone, not like something else transforming as the game intended. If that's gonna be the case then this has a high chance of succeeding. The graphics look pretty standard for a quest iteration, when you throw physics or other mechanics of this sort, you have to compromise somehow and this is definitely a case of that, though it's not bad by any means. To me it's pretty much betting all out on the immersion part. Let's go to the jungle! Oh my god, this is gonna be... A nightmare, full smooth locomotion, fun, there's a story and survival? I thought it's gonna be one and the same. Is survival just like an arena mode or something? Uh, I guess let's go with story. Oh, there's a tourist mode. Hmm, okay, let's do the normal gameplay. Like, I'm gonna be attacked in the first minutes, that's fine. Okay, I'm here. Hey, I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Where in my ass? Oh. <laughs> Index. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. Mm-hmm. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. Maldición. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, I guess. The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Of course we're French. How can it not be? Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Si. Jake, um... I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Come back here. He's gonna drag me into the danger. 100%. So far? Amazing. Like... I did not expect that level of things, and everything's like interactional. <laughs> the graphics are quest graphics, but this is nice. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh fuck! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, we're in the jungle and we are in the camp? Wait, who built that? Okay, I found the tent. Is everything alright? There's no one here. Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. 
As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Oh, it's not French. Oops. Well, that's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be alright. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. Yeah, it's not provocative at all, your position, huh? Oh, that's the recipe, dart frog. Deadiest amphibian on the planet. <laughs> yeah, we're in a good place. Oh yes, two machetes. The notebook is a vital source of knowledge. All recipes store progress. It's like walking dead. How do I do it? Okay. So I have to have a skeleton and I can't place it anywhere. That kinda sucks and I don't think it's limited to just irregular ground. Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet, uh, huh, but it feels that way. Huh, do I need, like, smaller dogs? The sounds are gonna be insane here. Okay! Please don't attack me! I think there's something going on with the frame skipping or something with the graphics. The gameplay is not smooth. It might be very heavy on the processor though. Last one... I don't like being <laughs> in the wild like that. Hmm. I need to find something dry. You need a kindling. Put dry leaves or bird nest in the bonfire. I don't know. What leaves? Okay. You know! <laughs> Why call her when she's here? Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? Ugh. <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Flint and blade. Okay, a classic. Ow, my hands kinda split. Okay. Yes, B, we're saved. Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. Oh. <laughs> How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. You know, you're right. I'm optimistic. If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time, we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time, I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. 
This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. Um, they don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Mia? No. <laughs> It starts the horror. Search for what? Hello, Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up. <laughs> Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. A gift for me? An Apple Watch. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, the parameters, survival stuff. Cool. And we have a backpack. Classic. Love it. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found him yet? See. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Okay, what are we doing? Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. You're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Okay, so she gets to hang out with the village people and I'm sniffing the flowers. Go north to find and cut a tobacco plant. Yeah, snakes and shit. Lovely. So north is there. I need two machetes to defend myself. Oh my god, the little sounds will be just a nightmare. What the? Okay. No tigers yet, no just dangerous stuff. Can I climb it? Here's something. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. What did you do? <laughs> Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Yasmeo, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. What do you mean, inspect? Should I touch myself? <laughs> oh, that's definitely not good. What? Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. You remember how to do it? Yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. It's literally here, okay? I hope it won't get infected. I have small arms. <laughs> here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Like hell. Aww. mio. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm hmm <gasps> Better? No. Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? Okay, this is gonna go forever, this overview. The whole game, the atmosphere, mechanics is very good. From a quest standpoint, obviously. Because it's not perfect. There are some skips in the locomotion and graphics. Might be due to optimization and such. I'm not a survival person, but I would actually be keen to play it. It's like not hard to understand what you do. Reflects the reality, kind of. Logically, what you think will work in real life will work here. Nothing's really transforming into other things. Besides maybe some trivial stuff like we picked up a big leaf and it turned into a small pile i can slide it because it will be just crazy cutting up the grass the story is also intriguing i can kind of imagine where it's gonna be going overall i feel like this can be a hit in our community i'll see how the schedule will turn out i don't guarantee we'll continue it but it's surprisingly really fun